nighttime raid. It's uh, late here. It's um, after 10, and they are taking stuff. So. document they've broken down the uh, safe zone uh, there are numerous people here police BFM Ross uh, Sasamura that's uh, Kevin Nakano We need to we need to document. So I got yeah, you're, you're, a safe place, okay? You guys are obstructing Look, government not, observation. Having, for your okay? safety, for your safety, please yeah. stand back. Okay, for your safety. I don't want you guys obstructing. We're I got I'm obstruct. trying to document this. We're just this, trying to okay? give you guys a tent. You open your body like that, I can't I can't document. Okay. Excuse right? me, you're they're blocking put up the, the documentation, all right? Okay, anywhere behind the tape is fine. You can stand here. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, get out of the hey, way. Sir. I can't see it through you, bro. We're gonna We're gonna put put the I'm trying to document. That is uh, in the background. Ross Sasamori is director of uh, facilities maintenance. Usually not on these raids. He's on this raid. Uh, He's pretty good at fixing roads, I gotta say. It's not much of a successor to West Chun, or hasn't hasn't been. Now there is a uh, agreement between the uh, court, between the city and the occupy signed in a federal court that requires them to uh well, let, let me let me get in let me get into document let me let me Agreement uh, requires people to claim the contents of tents. Uh, this allows the destruction okay. of property. Uh, requires notice. So this looks what like in in in. So this is a Bill 7 raid, there was no tagging. There was no tagging, so this is a Bill 7 raid. This is the first uh, and this is Bill 7 raid on the Occupy since it went into effect, w went into implementation on July 1st. It was used against a lot of the other camps. And you notice this is before a major celebration, just like they do for this, all the other raids. This is uh, before the... La Ho I Ho I Ea on Saturday. Quite ironic. And we have a lot of police here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least a dozen police. But you know that the FM crews, the usual ones that come here. But he's not. He's he's further than ten feet from them. Let me let me go inside the park side and make and document. I want to go in there and I want to document. Let me go inside and get some documentation. I can't get. I. They got these big bodies in the way, blocking documentation, purposely blocking observation. You're blocking observation of government operation. I'm doing my fucking job. I want to see what they're doing. Let me go inside and shoot if in from the, park, the other way. But closure. Kevin, he can't see. I can't see what the hell he they're doing. I can't see. document, okay? He has a right you to are document. blocking documentation of what they're doing, all right? 
you you get that angle. I'll just you know I'll get what I can on this side. We got some software that will synchronize various points of view. They're also disallowed to destroy items. I noticed they threw away some in the trash bags. So and they threw stuff in the trash. But I don't know where those trash bags are going. And that is Ross Sasamura observing. Doesn't seem to be giving orders. He must have talked about it before going in. Got a lot of armed police. Got the same crews that are here most of the time during the day. New videographer who actually looks like she knows how to operate the video camera. Unlike that other guy that they usually send, that it's obviously a, a stunt, a stunt videographer. In that, I thought she was trying to protect us. You know, by filming. Yeah, they're okay. Protect us. We from have the a person back there. You can see uh, taking notes. Uh, we'll see what it is because they'll leave a tag. This has got to be a Bill 7 tag or uh, under the statute 13-08. Uh, 13 Do you want to hold the camera? Okay. This is the first rate. Now, interestingly, a couple days ago, uh, the city filed their answer to uh, the Occupy Honolulu's uh, third amended complaint. Uh, they just filed that, and that was regarding Bill 54, Ordinance 11-029. This is uh, a raid con being conducted under um, Ordinance 13-08. Uh, uh, the uh, swastika ready, no knock, uh, come and don't tag, just take everything and destroy stuff. And there are a number of uh, trucks behind us. You know, while while we have other videographers here, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk back here, and I am going to. Uh, okay, we have somebody getting at least managed to get away. We have uh, three police here. Uh, I don't think you can see because of the lack of light. We've got three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen police, and a smaller number of uh, DFM crews actually doing the the work. So this is in violation of the agreement. And you're watching live. We're live on the internet. What's your name, ma'am? What's your name? Revan. Badge number. I yeah, get the badge number. And who do you work for? Oh, you work for ATV? Oh, and you're the Get a badge number. Oh, hi. I remember you. Come down Saturday. Saturday is La Ho'i Ho'i Ea, commemoration of the restoration of sovereignty in Thomas Square. These particular tents won't be here. I will be here. The people with me will be here. There will be a presence uh, from uh, the Occupy Honolulu in solidarity. With uh, the La Hoi Hoi Ea celebration. Oh, that's, funny. that's why they're here. The mayor, the mayor wants to put in uh, sell-off concessions and cafe, you know, coffee shops and that sort of thing in uh, Thomas Square. Um, and uh, I would guess most of the people at La Hoi Hoi Ea and De Occupy want to preserve Thomas Square as it is, which was the place where sovereignty was restored to the people of Hawaii, to the nation of Hawaii. This is interesting. Uh, they want to keep us behind this line. I don't think you can see it. It says park boundary. 
So this woman is standing on the actual one foot in, one foot out of the park. So I can get up right up here and then they say I will be tagged if I step inside it in order to observe uh, government operations. They have a danger tape here. Um, they were... I need to get closer to these guys. I need to get closer to these guys. I need to get where Kevin is and where you have these guys. I can't, I can't document them here. I want, to say, I want to say very clearly that you are preventing me from observing government operations. You are obstructing government operations. And by you, I mean everyone here and especially Kevin Nakano. Okay, they're inspecting Terry's tent now. More than inspecting. <laughs> they're taking shit. They're gonna throw it away. This is a Bill 7 raid. We actually got a lot of cameras here. I got an extra camera. I'm gonna get Orin on camera. Look at that. There you go. It's camera and it's working. There's a wormhole. Karen disapproves. Karen disapproves. We should be doing this job. We should. And there's a very holy board. They're taking stuff without tagging. There's a Bill 7 raid uh, which allows them to take anything and everything. And again, they, they went to uh, Kakako the day before celebration, the day before the dignitaries came to Korea, right. to the uh, Pa'a Park, I think right. it was. Right. They, they came to get, so anytime they have a celebration, there's an insidious irony to any celebration now. Right, that's to make sure dignitaries know that there are people. no problems people. in Honolulu and it's a very prosperous and happy community. And it's, they're doing that for La Hoi Hoi Ea. It's kind of like time. Disneyland, yes. It's, it's, but, but in actuality, for the Kakaako one, there were so many people packed there and celebrating and they did not realize that all those people are disappeared. It was just a celebration people. over where people were the, the day before. It's quite frightening, actually. We're looking uh, downward. It's a little dark. You can't see, but I mean, I don't understand that, you know. But this is what this is what you they decided have. to do, you know. You can see there's actually. Uh, You know, I'd like to get on the sidewalk on the other side. You have to cross somehow. Uh, you you know, start the process. I'm gonna, as soon as that turns green, I'm gonna walk and... Remember, jaywalking is illegal here. <laughs> Kevin, I want to get on the other sidewalk at least. Can I walk through the... Can I... I think that's very roundabout because I want to document. I think... I think you can escort me to the other side of the, uh, through the park, 30 feet, over to the other side of the sidewalk. Can I do that? Can you walk me over? Can I, walk? I thought he said, I thought he assented to this. Be careful. Remember Midori, they invited her in. <laughs> you know? Okay, here they are, they're uh, taking that. You can see um, that the tents look like they're, they're on what looks like a real decent pallet arrangement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go walk over to the other side. I'm gonna, since the uh, police are blocking uh, my observation, I'm gonna get over to the, uh, I have to walk over to the uh, crosswalk and get over to the other side. and. They are reacting by putting up more tape around it. They're, they're purposely blocking uh, observation. This is a Bill 7 raid, if you just joined us. This is a Bill 7 raid on uh, the Occupy Honolulu on the corner of Ward and Baratania. It's the first Bill 7 raid. Bill 7 was passed uh, earlier in the year. Uh, was implemented first implementation
election was uh, July 1st. That's when the city's uh, fiscal year starts. I'm pointed up, uh, or they won't let me go across and get to the other side of the sidewalk, so I had to walk down quite a ways. They're been very uh, deliberate in blocking uh, observation. Of their operation, and that's uh, Kevin Nakano, and he's the guy in the Aloha shirt. We call him the Aloha Police. You can see right here, they've taken the signs. Uh, that's a uh, Dave and Sign being trashed. We're still here. Rail still a corrupt city regime. Free speech zone. All the signs are in that truck. And we're on this end. You just gotta stay out of my way. I'm gonna. I'm observing this. I'm documenting this. We're live on the internet. Okay. That's Kevin giving uh, last-minute instructions to the police, probably saying if I step over the line to arrest me or tase me or cite me with something. I don't know where Ross went. Oh, Ross is back there. We are at the Occupy Honolulu corner of Ward and Baratania for the first Bill 7 raid. Bill 7, now known as Ordinance 13 08. In other words, the eighth ordinance passed in 2013. Authored, introduced by uh, Ikaika Anderson, Councilman, to try and outdo uh, Tulsi Gabbard's Bill 54, Ordinance 11 029, that required tagging. This requires no tagging. The uh, city can take anyone's stuff at any time they wish, and it's. Uh, at night here, it is 11.05 p.m. So without warning, they can they are taking people's tents. Uh, there are no social services people here. Any social services? IHS? There's no IHS here. Okay, so... Just to let you know, Doug, IHS was here earlier this afternoon. This afternoon, but not during this raid, right? Now we have a police videographer you can't see because of the darkness, but I just want to say that the difference between your video and my video, mine is going to the internet, it's public property, it provides public oversight over government operations. Your video stays with you and you use it for the purpose against the public we don't get to see it you know that's the difference my video is for public oversight of government operations it's available to the public yours is the exact opposite that's the difference my name's H. Doug Matsuok I'm H. Doug on Twitter You can see this area is uh, cordoned off. We have multiple videographers here today. There's one on the other side. Um, so this is probably the first Bill 7 raid that's being caught uh, on, uh, on, with such detail on video. 
And interesting, with a McDonald's truck passing in the background, that is bound to be classic footage. We're looking up uh, Ward Avenue. I'm trying to take uh, stills also. As I was saying, the uh, the occupier plaintiffs in a action in federal court against the uh, city, where they filed. Uh, an action that's still being uh, heard on the constitutionality of Bill 54, the more uh, moderate ordinance that went into effect last year. Until then, and during the pendency of the uh, of the of the uh, case, there is an agreement between the city and uh, the Occupy. requiring them to tag items, to allow people to uh, claim their own possessions, uh, disallowing the seizure and destruction of property, and requiring them to return it uh, the next day. This is being done under a new ordinance and will probably result in uh, an action being filed challenging the um, constitutionality of Bill 7, which is so unconstitutional in my view that I call it swastika ready. And this is exactly what uh, the Nazis did before before they took the Jews. They took uh, homeless people, the mentally and physically handicapped, and uh, took them away. Here comes a um, cleaning thing, let's see uh, what they do. He's gonna keep doing his job, he's gonna get dust on everybody. But you know, he, he's just doing his job, you know what I mean? As you can see here, they're taking the uh, tent. They're taking this tent. Uh, people have different uh, opinions on on what happens here and whether it's a good thing or bad thing. A lot of people don't understand what's going on, but this encampment has been here uh, over 600 days since uh, November 5th, 2011, uh, continuously occupied since then. All police here. I'm. I'm with. Uh, I'm in a police zone. There, two uh, policemen behind me. One in a car. Uh, to my left. To my right. You can't see one, two, three, four, five. To my immediate uh, right. We are. They're taking down the last tent on the. Uh, Side. You like 
blocking uh, the view and they of course won't let me uh, observe. They were supposed to allow a... Uh, they, used to, they used to tape off the entire corner. The court required them to lessen that in order to allow the uh, documentation. You can see a lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff. Saturday is La Hoi Hoi Ea, the um, commemoration of the uh, return of sovereignty to the Hawaiian people on July 31st, 1843, right here in Thomas Square, where uh, Kawi Keauli, King Kamehameha III, proclaimed Huamau Ke Ea Oka Aina Ikapuno. The sovereignty of the land continues in perpetuity. Or is preserved in Pono. Hey, hey, Blade, how's it going? You must have been nearby, bro. Oh yeah, I was just on the beach. Talking to Blade. Blade's a long time uh, the occupier. We have all kinds of cameras and stuff on there. So I guess everyone who is behind the green line is an officer. And everyone behind the there. green line is an officer. They, I asked them to cut if I could come back here to document. They didn't let me. They didn't let me cross except going down the street and doing it. They're purposely making it very difficult. The sidewalk, but that would. That would. That would. You know. And you see stuff ending up in bins. Just, you know, that gentleman is from the Office of Housing. He was on the behalf of the mayor. So they, he was here to help Yoseta and Joe try and get housing at IHS today. So he, there is somebody representing Oh, I see. You are, you're yeah. you're um, June. June, yeah. Hi. So he's, he's I didn't know that you guys were looking for me. So just, no, I wasn't. No, I was just, just wondering just if, just there were, um, if there were uh, services here yeah, we were, to help uh, people. And now, you're the, you're the head of the uh, Office of Housing. Office of housing. So that you, I guess you took over Keith uh, Ishida's, position, Ishida's yes. position. Okay. Is that is that a little? It's lamp? a little microphone. Oh, okay. Well, that's, and that's then, really cool. And then I'm uh, broadcasting live on the internet, <laughs> so people can watch. Now, what? Tell me, uh, tell me what this does. This is a, obviously a Bill Seven raid under uh, Ordinance uh, Thirteen Eight. Um, so nothing was tagged. It's being uh, taken, it's being seized. Now, the Occupy has an agreement with the city in federal court that requires them to tag, that this allows them to take stuff summarily, um, that basically prevents them from doing a um, Bill 7 uh, raid. So, well, I, I can't speak on that because I actually don't. You're, I don't not, you're not familiar with not the, the agreement between uh, the Occupy and the city? A lot of people, so. Well, this right here, there was. Uh, Nobody here inside the the, the tent. What do you mean an opening? So are you are you familiar with the um, agreement between the city and so I have and the occupy in federal court? No, no. You're not you're not familiar with I've that. I've been working more on, on the, the housing first and the homeless initiatives. Okay now on housing first, tell me how that works. How uh, how does it affect the people here? If there were people here that needed housing they could they could check in for the night, or what? What would they do? There's, there's actually room in the shelter. Right so now. tonight they could go and check in. Because I was reading a report on the one done uh, over by the. Hey, Mike. What's going on? hey man. Hey, Mike. Hey. <laughs> My bro. Just documenting. What you guys do? We're documenting, man. Don't get arrested. Better get back in your car. That's a that's a supporter, Mike. He's a cool guy. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Check out the 
bumper stickers on that cab. So how does this help the homeless? Yeah, because your your job is actually to help um, house the homeless people. My my job is to that's a part of my job. Uh, so how right does here, this help the well, homeless? My my job here is to support to make sure that if there are homeless people individuals here that we can help find. Them. I see. I see. So you're not you're not actually in favor of this kind of raid, or or are you? I have. This is something that the city has has been asking for. And this is something that the mayor's administration is supportive of because public spaces are for public access. Um, well, these are members of the public using uh, the public because they can't uh, afford well, private if, if housing. Was, you know, Those I, without private residences live in public uh, from lack of any anything else. And a no, private well, residence now, you know what the cost of a single family, a median cost of a single family home on this island Six hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars, as of last month. That's from the Honolulu Board of Realtors that I used to work for, actually. Um, yeah. So I know the cost of housing is high. There has there has your office done any anything to reduce the cost of housing on this island in Honolulu, the city county? Right now, we are seeing the first thing that I, I've been able to do in my time in the office is to come up with the mayor's plan for um, housing first. The housing first. I Working think housing first is a good... Uh, and we're trying to move forward on that. And that's what we're, we, the, the administration, the Department of Community Services... Well, in the uh, interim, you have stuff like this happening. This is... In the, in the meantime, people have actually found shelter. How many people have found shelter? Because we've had a community here, both here and on the Victoria Street side, I mean, for years, you know. Uh, there's also a community down King Street, you know, by uh, what we call Piano Park, right before Thayer's. Um, it's the park um, right before the Thayer's and be before the, uh, the local Thayer's uh, Piano Park. It's a piano park. It's across the sake shop and it's across uh, Kaheka. Uh, Kaheka runs right, right into it on King. And that was cleared out and it keeps coming back because people are homeless. You take their homes, it doesn't give them homes, it just takes their homes away. What do people with, with dogs do? What do people with dogs do? There's uh, D'Angelo on the other side, long time deoccupier. Uh, Laulani is over on the other side, Kanaka Maoli uh, activist, Native Hawaiian activist. And here we see uh, stuff being uh, summarily taken away, uh, put in this truck. When did he get picked up? Uh, I guess tonight. Let's go to the last one. Well, this is bullshit. Another $15,000 down the drain. All right, let's do that. Let's take things well, from people instead of giving them... Yeah, how does this help uh, homelessness? It helps do this. It makes it seem as though they're no homeless because it takes their stuff away. It does nothing uh, for the people that were homeless. They're just without their tents. Homeless people aren't actually homeless. They have homes. It's their tents. They're displaced. Which are now, they're displaced people. Uh, let's see what we got here. 
sir. Um, yeah. Again, the green lighter. Oh, 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 oh. I want to get a... Uh, Uh, of those trucks you really can't see. I don't have a a decent uh, flash on my camera but there, there are two trucks here. Got that, two trucks. Uh, that's me with the flash. Now uh, we're going to move to the uh, Baratania side. I'm gonna get o I'm gonna get over on the other side. They're making it super hard to uh, do any kind of uh, documentation. You can see uh, the city cars, police. Big number of police here. Um, you know, I don't see uh, media, which is interesting, which means they didn't tip media off. Uh, the Occupy is kind of a... kind of a uh, number, you know? Kind of a... Uh, hot items so they generally tip off the media media shows up the presence of media is a tip off that there's a raid maybe that's why they quit doing it uh, there's also been some uh, very bad publicity on this new uh, bill 7 that uh, Ikaika Anderson uh, introduced because it is so extreme uh, it allows the police to come in at 11 p.m., which is what the time is now, and uh, take uh, the possessions of homeless people. Does this help anything? How does this help homelessness? Well, what it does is it removes the homeless from sight by taking their homes, which uh, are their tents. <coughs> I'm a the Victoria Street side, we're going to walk up through that barricade of planners so we can get another <coughs> view of the uh, another view of the uh, operation. They won't let us cross through simply or cross through the park. Say they'll cite us or arrest us. We do have a couple videographers there already, so I'm not uh, sweating it too much. I'm going to uh, head over across the street as soon as the light changes. Man, there are long lights here. Here we go. We're going to get a 
walk across soon. I know it's dark, um, but uh, that's life. If you're watching this, uh, tweet it out or try and share it. It'll also get recorded automatically. So um, let's not worry about that too much. That is the uh, Academy of Arts in the background. We have a whole line of uh, police cars. Shouldn't leave the window open like that. And the uh, planters, there are 65 or so planters on each side. One on King Street, one on Baratania. Completely blocking access to the, uh, to the park. This is the first uh, Bill 7 raid on This is the first Bill 7 raid on uh, the Occupy. So, uh, oh, that's good. You guys uh, found a way across. Taking that really good sign. I'm glad the, the flag and some of the... They took all the signs. Now people say, what's the Occupy about? And, the difficulty is that they've had uh, hundreds of signs seized. We're back at the corner here. We're live on the internet. We're at the corner of Ward and Baratania, the Occupy Honolulu, where city crews and police are conducting a Bill 7 raid. Bill 7, now known as Ordinance 13-08. There isn't a, a, a court-ordered agreement in federal court, district court, between uh, plaintiffs de Occupy Honolulu and the city um, agreeing not to do stuff like this, not to do seizures, uh, requiring them to tag, disallowing them to take um, property, allowing, uh, disallowing them to um, seize property like this or destroy it, requiring them to return it the next day. Uh, so there are multiple violations. Uh, they get, uh, That uh, reflective tape is throwing off the sensors. Uh, it's interesting, we saw the uh, green line uh, indicating the border between the sidewalk and park. That border has increased since uh, December 29th, 2011, when uh, the park boundary was naturally thought of as being uh, by the park sign and by the wall and that kind of thing. On the afternoon of December 29, 2011, the police came and put some dots in increasing the uh, size of the park and putting the original encampment within the bounds of the park so that it could be seized under abandoned, pro abandoned park property uh, statute. Uh, later on, earlier, uh, uh, not too much, uh, not too long ago, a larger green border further extended the boundary. This was done without a survey. This was done for the convenience of uh, the city. Uh, between the uh, 
teardown of the original encampment and now there was also a change of mayor, the first, uh, the mayor that implemented the Bill 54, Peter Carlyle was voted out of office with a dismal 25% of the vote. New Mayor uh, Caldwell was uh, voted in uh, with a lot of uh, corporate financing from Pacific Resource Partnership who uh, backs the rail and that sort of thing. He wants to put in uh, private concessions in Thomas Square, coffee shops and that sort of thing, raise money uh, for the city, and of course the Occupy and most sovereignty groups are dead set against that because this is uh, as, as, as secularly sacred as you can, as you can get. It's in this uh, park on July 31st, 1843, that the uh, Kawikeauli, King Kamehameha III, proclaimed Kapono. The sovereignty of the land is perpetuated in Pono. There goes a bunch of stuff into the trash. Right there. There we go. Supposed to take uh, reasonable care in the disposition of property. You see, it doesn't get destroyed. These would be, these would be uh, material that are the uh, possessions of uh, people. Got to take non-flash pictures. The flash buzzes out the uh, sensors. I'm going to use this uh, pylon here as a kind of see what I'm doing here. Using this uh, as a six. Fight, fight, fight. This is not one yet. No, take the one. This can't be straight time. This ain't straight time, right? It's overtime? You're getting overtime, right? I mean, this is not straight time, right? Oddly enough, I'm kind of grown used to being ignored. <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a message from uh, Kathy Sugar that I have to uh, deliver uh, personally. Sasamura is here as the chief engineer for the city of Honolulu. Department of Facility Maintenance, uh, the guys that uh, repair roads and that sort of thing. What, is they, what are they doing raiding homeless camps? And how does this help the homeless? Okay, now if you're trying to call me, obviously I'm shooting with my cell cam, so I won't answer. You get transferred to Google Mail, so speak really like a robot and I will get a transcript.
We're getting a message of solidarity from Occupy Hilo. Now, if you're if you're watching uh, via Occupy Hilo, this is an interesting law that they're using here. The one that we refer to as Bill Seven. This is the first Bill Seven raid. Um, on the Occupy since it was Im started to be implemented on July 1st. Now the cost of housing on this island, on Oahu, the median cost of a median single-family home is $677,000. So why are there people on the uh, street. They have on the clear heels, yeah? And we'll, we'll do this, uh, the meeting from both sides, like driving in the spike. Hi, D'Angelo. What was that? Hi. Hi. So I don't know if you can see, we've got, uh, we're, we're on the corner right now. Whoops. This, this is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the dark. This is the official uh, do not cross line. Money. That's right. Sorry. That's why you're not doing nothing about it. And haven't been doing anything about it. I mean, when I was 12 years old, I would be being white. Now, now during during Apex, speaking of prostitution, during during Apex, one uh, local guy was murdered by a federal agent, and there were no arrests for prostitution that whole week. Apex this year. Priorities, that shows you the priorities. References uh, Bill Seven. There are some really good signs here. That one says houselessness being poor, not a crime. And that uh, that is being taken away. That was done by a professional sign maker. A very good sign. A lot of pictures, a lot of photos of that. It was facing uh, the Academy of Arts for the longest time. Now, Ross, you're the director of the Department of Facilities Maintenance. Well, how do you feel about these kind of raids? Is, is this something appropriate for you to be doing? No comment right now, Doug. Thank you. No comment. Well. This is interesting. This was the first Bill 7 raid. You can see uh, two trucks in there. 
two pickup trucks uh, in, right inside the park. Um, Signs of irony. With uh, signs uh, being taken. So they'll be heading off here. The uh, sprinklers have gone on. We're facing in toward the park. You probably can't see. Let me uh, get out here. Probably get the numbers on those. I got 12 and uh, I cannot see. 12 and 6. You can't see the numbers on the other ones. Full of stuff here. The news uh, shows up or anything like that. Remind me to turn my shirt around. Well, I, uh, I count 17 uh, police. Bunch of guys with stars, high ranking guys. No, you can't see much. I'm facing in toward the dark. We're on the corner of South Britannia. And more.